now this brings us to one of the you know most important or landmark cases i should say you know in the possibly in the history of accounts and you know in the history of partnership this was one of the cases which set which resolved the dispute as to how you know the partners should bring in cash should bring in money to pay off the debts of outsiders if one of them is insolvent so i'll tell you what happened in this case there were three partners garner mare and wilkin now these three partners ran a firm they used to do business it so happened that during the course of time wilkin became insolvent so because of this the firm was you know required to be dissolved and for dissolution there was a disagreement between garner and mare as to in what ratio should they bring in the share of the insolvent partner wilkin because they need to pay the outsiders and they were short of funds so since the firm is short of funds the partners have to bring in money but here wilkins was already insolvent so whatever money wilkins was to bring has to be borne by garner and marina they have to bring in but the question was as to what should be the ratio should they bring in the money which wilkins was to bring in equally are they supposed to bear wilkins share in the profit sharing ratio should they bring in the additional amount in the capital ratio so what happened was this case was referred to the court and then the court finally decided that the insolvent person's share has to be borne by the solvent persons in the ratio of their capitals the judgment was the insolvent partners share is to be borne by solvent partners in capital ratio so whatever capitals were there the fixed capital were there uh, before making adjustments for the current year in that ratio they'll bring in because whatever capital was lying in the firm in that ratio only the additional contribution was to be made by the solvent partners for whose share for the insolvent partner whatever money the insolvent partner was to bring in now these both solvent garner and mare solvent partners have to bring in but in capital ratio not equally not in the profit sharing ratio but in the capital ratio okay the question is the loss arising out of partners insolvency shall be borne by the dash according to garner versus mare case by all the partners equally solvent partners in capital ratio all the partners in profit and loss sharing ratio none of the above we just done this it has to be brought in by the solvent partners in the capital ratio let's check that is the answer next the accounting rule in respect of loss arising due to insolvency of a partner is dealt within 
ए गार्नर वर्सेस मरे बी हाइड वर्सेस फ्रेंच डी डेरी वर्सेस पीक डी ऑल ऑफ पीस दिस अगेन इज वेरी सिंपल इट वाज डिसाइडेड इन गार्नर वर्सेस मरे के सो इट हैज टू बी डेल्ट विद इन गार्नर वर्सेस मरे ओके okay. 